I mean, there's some stuff we want to come back around to, but, you know, let's just see. Go ahead. Well, it has to do with the fact that um, I have a background in gestalt therapy where I where when way back when, when mm -hmm. people were really into it, I did yep. it. And the hot seat work, I recognized whenever we were taking things out in the NLP trainings. Oh, that's mm -hmm. from hot seat. And then the dream identification you do in gestalt is deep trance identification where you become every object in the dream. Yep. And so I recognize that those two techniques are part of what Pearls was working with. Well, do you know what his background was? No. I he was a hypnotherapist. He was a medical doctor, but his background was hypnotherapy. He was a clinical hypnotherapist. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and so, um, well, I guess that answers my question. See, what he did, what he did was he essentially externalized processes that were more internal processes. So he did parts work by having people talk to the part out here. And what made him so good, and she's talking about Fritz Perls, who was the, considered to be the you know, founder of Gestalt therapy, it was very just prolific and had a huge influence on the humanistic psych movement in, in the 60s. And uh, a lot, a number of the patterns, uh, not quite as much as Erickson's, but a number of the patterns that are in NLP are directly from Fritz Perls' work. And so the, th the thing that I found, I was trained in Gestalt too. So I was initially doing behavioral stuff, and then I learned Gestalt, and then I became a family therapist. And it was really with Gestalt and family therapy is what led me to hypnosis, because all these people that were the top people, like for family therapy and stuff, all studied with Erickson. And then, you know, with the Gestalt people, most people never knew when, when Fritz Perls would say, okay, switch chairs. They never knew what he was sorting for that would let him know. They just thought, oh, he's done taught, you know, the person has said this piece and now switch. No, he was calibrating to different states. Okay. okay. See, so, and, and so what happened for me when I first got into NLP, I became a much better gestalt person because I actually knew when to stop certain things and when to start things or when to bring in another chair or whatever I needed to do because now I actually understood why I was doing it. You know, and I was calibrating, and I could see, oh, they're not in the right state, so don't let them sit in this chair over here because they're not out of this state over here. See, he knew all that, but he was, he was never teaching it explicitly. It was more unconscious for him. But you, I, you're doing great. I mean, there's a lot, what you're right, you're exactly right about the parallels that you're seeing, and you're going to see a lot more as we go on, because now you have the Gestalt, or, I'm sorry, you have the, the NLP background, and now we're bringing in the hypnosis stuff, which was his background before he even got going in Gestalt. Yep. So that wasn't out there. That was like right in there. <laughs>